Hey guys, what's going on? So we're going to play your Alpha and Omega and I'm basically just gonna show you some alternative cards that you can play. Something different from the original. Something outside of the box. Something that can make your performance or your playing of this song more interesting. So you know this song, you are Alpha and Omega. It normally starts on the one. Something like this. Right? But who says it has to start on the one? We can start on the six. And probably where would you go next? You'd want to go back to the four. Right? But who says we have to go to the four? We can go to... Sharp six. So, where would you go next? You probably do want to think of going back to the one. But why? You don't have to go to the one. We can go. You don't have to resolve and go to the one. You can go to the four. And you want to go. That's what you'd normally play, right? But why not play? We're yet to resolve. We're keeping that, that suspense that we're not giving them the, the resolve. So that's one one tip you can take you don't have to resolve instead of going to the resolve you can always go to the seven you can go to the six you can go to the five you can go to the four keeping this melody note you can go to the three you don't have to go to the one so your alpha Just thinking out of the box and you go to the chorus you normally play but you don't have to do the 736 everyone is expecting the 736 you can instead do a simple three four five six and then you would go, probably think of going back to the right that's the original but instead of going to the five we can do the four over five right you probably want to go back to the two here R4 We don't have to We can go You don't have to resolve I know you want to go to that one But you can go Finally resolve.
so guys that's just basically some ideas some ways of you just thinking outside of the box think of the melody note and think of other alternative chords that you can play for example this melody note this melody note can be one it can be sharp six sometimes you just have to modify notes in the chord to make that melody note work it can be six it can be five it can be four one melody note it can be three it can be sharp two it can be two it can be sharp four it can be minor five it can be the sharp five right so you just have to think outside of the box find that melody note and basically think of other chords that you can that would include that melody note to create something different from the original and that's what i normally do when i'm playing playing a song and basically want to create something fresh something unique Thank you.